Hello everybody, welcome back to another GIMP episode. I'm going to be looking at um, the colors, hue, saturation um, option. And I'm also very curious to know how the overlap works. Now, I know that I can select, for example, yellow and apply a bit of overlap and then adjust these parameters and it would give some overlap on around the other colors. But I have to admit it hasn't exactly worked as, I, as I've anticipated in the past. So I want to know, I'm going to learn about its exact thresholds. And I thought, what a beautiful way to just record it at the same time. And then everybody gets to know, we all get to uh, really appreciate it. So the best way to figure out how this impacts everything is to put every single color in here. And I thought, well, there's the full spectrum here. And let's just do a gradient. Prefer to do it um, linear. Okay, so I've grabbed that, grabbed the gradient tool and dragged across and you can see it's given me every color option in the spectrum. Um, white is missing and black is missing. So I'm just gonna paint that in at the top here. Uh, just get a very big brush. Actually, let's get it smaller than that. Make sure it's not getting the halfway mark. Okay, let's get black and white. So first black at the bottom. That hasn't done it as well as I thought it was gonna do it. Um, Okay, let's just keep painting that in. And uh, let's do white at the top here. Okay, we've got some uh, spectrum of colors of all possibilities here. So what we'll do uh, now to figure out how well this really works. Now, if I choose red, for example, and say I'm gonna desaturate the red, it's literally grabbed every pixel that's got red and desaturated it. That's interesting because it hasn't, um, there's no fading here, meaning every single pixel that has red in it becomes gray. And so the yellow would do the same. That's kind of fascinating. Okay, so I'm assuming the overlap now if I put it all the way up and I desaturate the red, okay, that's a lot better. In my opinion, this is a much more accurate to how you would want to do your own um, desaturations. I'm almost gonna make it a rule all the time now to have overlap all the way to the top. I don't even know why it starts at, at zero, zero. I think it, it should start at the top. So if I wanna make red desaturated and then I wanna make yellow desaturated, Yep, there's a nice, um, there's a nice blue. So you're gonna get some harsh edges unless you have the overlap up. And I don't think people want harsh edges in general. Okay, let's go, let's reset everything. Let's uh, have a learn of uh, hue. So hue the same thing. If I change the hue, you get harsh shadows. I'm only changing the hue for the red. <laughs> I remember, um, in, you know, when I, when I was kind of programming on the um, 286 computer, that was a long time ago, really showing my age. But um, one clever way we could make it look like there was a lot happening on the screen without using too much processing power was to cycle the colors. And that was just to just basically change the um, color at a particular memory address. And that would just cycle all the colors. And what, what you would do is so, for example, let me just reset everything. Uh, it would just look, it would do these sorts of things and it looked like there was a lot of movement even though there really wasn't, you were just cycling colors. Um, so, okay. So let's go back to that. Let's reset everything and go back. We just affect the red or let's get the blue because it's in the middle. Um, okay, so that gives harsh edges. And if we were to go all the way on overlap, then that's much, much, much more smooth and that's better in my opinion. 
I almost never want those hard, harsh edges, excuse me. Um, so I think as a general rule, my overlap will be at 100 all the time. Okay, so there you have changing the hues and you can But isn't it interesting that some blue remains on either edge? Look at that. And I guess the overlap would get rid of still some blue, but I guess you could argue that that's purple. I guess that's... So in between the red... In between the red... Oh, uh, no. Okay, it's the magenta. Yeah, okay. Hence. Okay, that's good to know. Let's go back to the blue. Um, so, lightness. Yeah, so you would never want that really. I don't think so, anyway. But uh, but if we go back to, uh, let's reset. If we say, all right, overlap at 100. It darkens it all. The lightness... Um, Okay, so there's interesting things here, and I, um, I'm actually not a fan of how it lightens on the lighter colors. Sorry, that's darkening. I'm pushing the lightness down. And what it does here, it's not very clean, and I don't think it's ideal. So I don't think that the algorithm is very suitable. Um, same, as the, um, same as down here, have a look at it down here. So that's not ideal, and I don't think that's that's what you would want. Um, in other words, the overlap works on the color wheel, but it doesn't really do well on white and blacks. So I guess stick to the colors here mostly. Uh, and don't adjust these too much um, in the middle. But uh, if you do ever want to lighten things up, the levels, color levels, um, generally does better until it gets to that middle. Look at that. Uh, that's looking a bit funny there. Uh, the reason this happens is because you've gotten, as I move this over, we're actually getting rid of so much information from the um, from the image, that it you're you're really losing um, valuable data that that provides um, a lot of the definition. Isn't that interesting? It um, moving this to the right uh, really produces um, removes the blur between the um, between the primary colors. Isn't that interesting? You end up with um, red, green, blue primary colors, whereas here it's a bit more mixed. Okay. So I guess if you do want to darken the entire thing, use the brightness, and then you don't get that issue because there's no there's no information loss with when you use this because it it actually adds. Um, let me show you what it does. Let's go all the way dark and then go to levels. The original information is still retained here in this half, and we've just added this whole extra bit here on the right when we darkened it. And it would have done the same on the left if we lightened it, so. In any case, I hope, um, yeah, that's, um, I, look, I, I just learned something, and I hope you did too, and that was the point of me um, doing this kind of live while I was learning as well, we could learn together so the, um, the the overlap is super important in my opinion in most cases thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you next time